So in the previous video, I created a parent listing, uh, which I which I mentioned houses uh, nine variations below, which is size and color. If you haven't watched the previous video, go ahead and start that first so you understand where this is leading up to. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to fix suppressed issues and how to add images into a variation listing. So as you can see over here, it's large and blue. So the first thing you want to do is edit. Uh, as you can see, I've already done the gray and black but right now I'm just going to focus on the blue. So when you enter a child listing, some of the key points that you need to uh, take care of are the description, keywords, and images. So first let's do images. So I have the images ready on my computer for blue, so I'm going to put them up there and uh, have the blue colors show up over here okay uh, I have six pictures so I'm just gonna put all of them and anything that's related to blue you want to put it so in your case it could be a kitchenware item a size thing a color thing anything it could be you want to put the relevant pictures in the variations uh, for my case it's a blue t-shirt and uh, as usual all the t-shirts that I have most t-shirts would have size guides there so I'm just gonna put everything that's relevant over here in the description you want to of course uh, there is uh, plenty of videos out there on YouTube where it teaches you how to write a good product description and key product features it's possibly a video I would do in the future but uh, for this video I'm just gonna put a short one and then you want to just add some key product features something that's unique to the children variation if you have it that's fine so you can just do something like color blue uh, crew neck t-shirt salt sleep tee and uh, you want to save this stuff into a word document as well so you can copy paste it for each variation there's unfortunately no easy way to bulk edit this inside seller central for the key product features but uh, recently Amazon has been detecting that if it's the color blue, they'll follow the same bullet points and the description. So looks like you only have to update it in one child variation listing. So you can input as many bullet points as you want down here in the key product features. And like if, if the variation has something specific on the color, like let's just say blue crew neck t-shirt and uh, of course, this needs to be much more descriptive, but this is just an example video of how to modify your variations inside Seller Central. Once you're done, click Save, and you'll see that it needs 15 minutes to come across. Uh, you can see the previous ones I did. I did a small gray. I'm going to show you how that one worked out. And uh, what I did pretty much was... Uh, I updated the images as per what I did before. Pretty much the size guide has moved uh, to the third picture as Amazon's doing. In the description, I put uh, this crew neck, color gray, size small, dry wash, 100% cotton. And the keywords are also set already. So I had uh, Sunit is my name, so I just put it as a personal website. Again, this is just an example, not the way you should be doing your listings uh, for when it comes to keywords and description, okay? So, now have you noticed that all the gray ones have, looks like they've been automatically updated with the appropriate picture. So if I look in any other gray one, I'm gonna see uh, no description here. So only the images have been updated. So you'd have to update the product description and key product features for each color along with the keywords. But the images seem to be gathered up from the color of the listing over here okay so as you I, I did not update this at all you can see that I don't have any images here while as on this one I have the images down here because this is what I did I uploaded manually so there are easier ways to kind of bulk edit this in Excel files which I'm going to show you how to do that in another video and to create a new listing uh, in the same format especially when you have things that duplicate content quite a lot using an excel sheet is much much easier 
However, this is uh, for those, if you're not very tech friendly, this is a very easy way for you to do variations and you can kind of edit the parent. Now you can also add more colors if you want. So if I wanted to add uh, uh, a medium, I'm uh, sorry, uh, let's just do extra small and I wanted to add red, I can just add it and it will show up down here. So you can go for red and uh, extra small, you know? Again, there's a, sometimes there's some bugs, so you have to kind of uh, remove that. And again, over here, you'll see X, XS and then red. You can leave the product ID blank. And uh, since it's only one, I'm just gonna input this manually, but you can use this part up here again as well. And uh, as far as target gender goes, again, I know it's a male t-shirt, so we're good there. Um, and yeah, now you're going to see some things over here, which looks like it's been mapped incorrectly because this is medium. This is my, sometimes you will have to fix that and, uh, you can kind of fix that in the parent listing. So it actually updates. If the update doesn't push through, you want to contact Amazon seller central to get a, to have them push the update because, uh, there is no reason from our previous video, everything was inputted correctly, but sometimes it just happens. Amazon does have a big catalog of updates constantly happening. So it does tend to uh, have some bugs sometimes. Uh, it's pretty common and all you have to do is just click save and finish and very soon you're gonna see the red color show up over here. Uh, but it does take about 15 minutes to 30 minutes to get that done. And we should see the blue ones coming up very soon as well. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the Excel file uh, to how to do it in bulk so that there is, so there is an easier maintenance on your part. As you can see, I do have 1,041 products. Uh, I've done, a, I sell a lot of apparel, so I use Excel sheets to maintain and keep a record of what I do. Um, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching.